Okay, um, this is just a quick introduction to homework seven, the CART um, assignment. You've already done the labs and stuff by now. Um, we're going to return to that abalone data set. Remember, abalone are um, Tasmanian snails. They come from Australia. People like to eat them. Um, and you remember this data set had 4,000 some snails, um, a bunch of variables, and most interestingly, it had a variable for sex. And what would happen was experts would look at the snail and they would either categorize it as male, female, or they couldn't tell. And the I either stood for indeterminate or for infant because baby snails, apparently it's hard to tell. And um, what you're gonna try to do is you're gonna try to make a model that predicts um, which of the three categories the snail would go in based off the very simple variables that we have um, and see how well we do um, with that. So um, you don't have to do any pre-processing. Um, you do have to get rid of that X1 variable, which is just a numeric um, <clears throat> variable. Um, and first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make a two sex uh, model of your uh, data set just using this filter variable. So that's gonna just have the ones that could be identified. Then it's gonna be um, predicted with uh, uh, two sexes, and then you're going to see what does it. Then you're going to run a second cart tree that uses all three um, of the sexes. So run your analysis on that. I ask you to make the trees a little bit differently. And then again, I ask you to write some code um, to explain um, how we can predict abalone uh, sexes. Um, the way they treat this is important. Again, I have no idea because this is a data set I found in the space of the internet. Um, I wonder if maybe they taste differently or people think one sex is uh, more delicious than the other, um, but I have no real do. So if you want to imagine that's the story that maybe, I don't know, male snails taste better or female snails, whichever one you'd like. Um, and so being able to predict which one is which might be a useful thing um, if you're you know, going to eat these uh, abalones and you know, sell them in your restaurant or whatever. So bon appetit.